Welcome to Nares Technologies. I am Bangar Raju and in this video uh, I will demonstrate about constructors. So, what is this constructor? See, object oriented programming is all about writing the code inside classes. We are just going to write the code inside a class and a class is a collection of various members like fields, methods, constructors etcetera etcetera. And in that one of the most important member that is present in a class is going to be called as a constructor. So, what is a constructor means? It is a special method present under a class responsible for initializing the variables of that class responsible for initializing the variables of that class. So, it is a special method present under a class responsible for initializing the variables of that class. Okay? And now, the main importance of a constructor is it is responsible to initialize the variables inside your class. What is that? We will talk on it just a minute. Meanwhile, if it is a method, it requires a name now and remember the name of a constructor method, the name of a constructor method is exactly the same name of the class in which it was present. The name of a constructor method is exactly the same name of the class in which it was present. So, we can't change this thing now. So, if your class name is test, your constructor name is test. If your class name is demo, your constructor name is demo. You cannot change it. And another important thing is and moreover, it is a non value returning method. It is a non value returning method. Constructor methods does not require return any value. That does not return any value. So, just generally methods are two types value returning, non value returning. But constructors are purely non value returning, they never return any value. And next, each and every class requires this constructor if we want to create the instance of that class. This is another important point. Each and every class requires this constructor if we want to create the instance of that class. If at all we want to create the instance of that particular class, make sure your class contains a constructor. If I do not have a constructor, if you do not have a constructor, we cannot create the instance of the class. But when I tell this point, you will be having a doubt. What is the doubt? Earlier, you might be writing classes and in the classes, you may not define anything called as constructor, but still you are able to create the instances of those classes, something like this. You have defined a class like this, class test. In this class, I'm declaring a variable called as int i, something like this. And now, let us somewhere, I want to create the instance of this class test obj is equals to new test, create the instance of the class. So, is this statement valid? Yes, it is valid. We can create the instance. But what the last point is telling here, each and every class requires this constructor if we want to create the instance of the class. But here we are creating the instance, but we do not have anything called as constructor. And if this is valid, the last point what we are talking here does not make any sense. Why? Without that constructor, we are telling instance cannot be created. And here, we do not have a constructor, but still we are able to create the instance. So, this will be a doubt what everyone will have in the mind. So, let me clarify that. What is it? It is the responsibility of a programmer to define a constructor under his class. It is the responsibility of a programmer to define a constructor under his class. And if he fails to do so on behalf of the programmer on behalf of the programmer an implicit constructor gets defined in that class by the compiler on behalf of the programmer an implicit constructor gets defined in that class by the compiler actually we need to do it but we did not do it. If you do not do that on behalf of us, the compiler will define an implicit constructor into that class. So, what happens you know, this class after compilation, 
this class after compilation will contain one implicit constructor like this how public test and remember the name is test why the name is test because the constructor name should exactly be the class name class name is test so the constructor name is also test and inside this what will be present you know i is equals to 0 what is that initializing the variable initializing the variable so why is the variable getting initialized here that is the responsibility of the constructor that is the first point we are talking it is a special method present under a class responsible for initializing the variables of that class. So if a class variable is initialized implicitly means that is done by a constructor that is why every variable you declare directly under the class or every field you declare directly under a class has a default value if you do not give all numeric types are initialized with zeros and uh, boolean types are initialized with false string and object types are initialized with null means see in this I am also going to declare a string string s yes, did not initialize bool b did not initialize and now all the things will come here also string s yes and bool b but remember inside this constructor all these are initialized s yes is equals to default value null and b is equals to default value false. So, like this the initialization is performed for each and every variable that is the role of the constructor that is why constructor is very important for us inside a class and if you do not have this constructor with these variables will not be initialized because without we assigning a value a value coming there means there is not a magic show. So, someone has to assign the value here. So, who is going to do that? The constructor will do that and this constructor is not defined by us remember we did not define the constructor. Who defined this constructor? The compiler defined this constructor for us and we call this as a implicit constructor that is a constructor that is implicitly defined and if we define the same thing that is called as explicit constructor. If at all we are going to define this constructor explicitly we call that as a explicit constructor okay otherwise every constructor is going to be an implicit constructor. So, you till now you might be defining 100 classes in all the 100 classes you never defined a constructor but still all those classes contain a constructor and all those class constructors are defined by the compiler for us and some few important points to remember here point number one implicit constructors implicitly defined constructors constructors are also known as default constructors are also known as default constructors. Why actually default constructor means a constructor which does not take any parameter see already on the top I said a point constructor is a special method and why I am just pointing this right now here is see method because it is a method you can pass parameters to method also there is a chance to pass parameters. And if you pass any parameters to that particular thing the constructor will become parameterized and right now there are no parameters. So, this is a parameterless constructor this is going to be a parameterless constructor. So, every parameterless constructor will initialize the variables of the class with default values. So, that is when implicit constructors are parameterless and parameterless constructors are also known as default constructor. So, let me change the definition implicitly defined constructors are parameterless these constructors are also known as default constructors implicitly defined con defined constructors are parameterless and these constructors are also known as default constructors the first important point if a constructor is implicitly defined do not forget that is parameterless and if it is parameterless they can also they, they can also be called as default constructors. Point number 2 implicitly defined constructors are public the constructors which are defined implicitly are public you notice said 
this class is a normal class here, but when I defined the constructor, when I just said the constructor gets defined, I have mentioned here as a public. Why? Because implicitly defined constructors are public. They are going to be public constructors here. Okay. And another thing, we can also define a constructor under the class. We can also define a constructor under the class and if we define it and if we define it we can call it as explicit constructor explicit constructor and explicit constructor and an explicit constructor can be parameterless or parameterized also an explicit constructor can be parameterless or parameterized, but implicit constructors cannot be parameterized. Implicit constructors are parameterless, but explicit constructors can be parameterless or parameterized also. Two options are there for us, both can be done. Okay, fine. Let us just take a small example and define a constructor. Okay, here I have taken a project called as demo project. In this, I have a class called program. In this program class, I wanted to define or I wanted to just declare a variable int i equals to uh, or int i simple okay next uh, bool b bool b yes two variables now let me come here create the instance of the class program p is equals to a new program and once after creating the instance of the class console dot right line p dot i the variable name is i p dot i trying to print the i value as well as the b value also so one more time i am writing p dot b console dot right line and do remember we did not assign any value for i and b but still when you run the code it prints values yeah, you can notice still you can see the values printed over there what are the values 0 and f but don't forget we did not assign any value here we did not assign any value here and that value what has coming over there is a given by is given by the constructor which constructor implicit constructor and we do not require to give that value. Uh, Let us just print this message a little bit clear what is it value of i is plus and value of b is plus. So, it is going to print both the two values for us. Okay. So, value of i is 0 and the value of b is false. It is just going to print the two values for us. So, that is what even if we did not assign any values, you are able to see the value for i and b. How the value came now? The value came through the constructor. We did not assign. So, internally this class contains one implicit constructor and that implicit constructor is going to initialize the variables. Okay. So, can I define these constructors explicitly? You can define. How can I define a constructor explicitly? If you want to define a constructor explicitly, this is the syntax to define a constructor. Modifiers, name, parameter list and write here. So, this is the syntax. Your modifiers, name, parameter list, and then you are going to write your statements here. So, let us try defining a constructor on our own now. So, right now we used an implicit constructor here and that implicit constructor is helping us in creating the instance and initializing the variables and you can define these constructors explicitly also. How to define? Let us open the solution explorer, add a new class here, add a class. I will name the class as explicit con demo, explicit constructor demo. Uh, simply I call it as explicit con demo. 
Now, in this class, I want to write a constructor now, public explicit con demo. So, this is an explicit constructor what I defined inside this class, public explicit con demo. This is an explicit constructor, okay. And this constructor, if you do not define also, there will be, but implicit. Now, it is explicit. And here I am writing a simple code console dot right line constructor is called. Now, static void main create the instance now explicit con demo obj is equals to new explicit con demo creating the instance now. We are creating the instance of the class now, okay. And afterwards console dot read. And remember, we are creating an instance and whenever you create an instance, there will be a call to the constructor. There will be a call to the constructor. And I, I can prove you this like this. You can watch. Constructor is called. How many times you create the instance, that many number of times the constructor will be called for you. Suppose I am creating three instances obj1, obj2, obj3 and you watch it every time you create the instance, it will call the constructor. So, if you notice the previous program, in the previous program we did not define any constructor explicitly. So, the constructor is implicit, okay. So, right now I am going to create the instance. When I create the instance now, even though the constructor is implicit, a call to the constructor will take place. So, what is going to happen now? It is going to call the implicit constructor now and that implicit constructor is now going to initialize the variables. Which variables? i and b with 0 and false. So, the point to understand is whenever the instance of a class is created, then there is an implicit call to the appropriate constructor. Why? We are going to make the appropriate point. This instance creation will call the constructor, okay. Means actually I should not use the word implicit here. Why? I should call explicit only. Why? Because we are calling the constructor explicitly. Where are we calling? Watch. Program P. What is program? You can see there. It is a class present under the demo project namespace. It is a class present under the demo project namespace. Now, come here. When I say program and put my mouse here, it is not showing you class. What is it showing you? Program dot program. What is program dot program? The first program is a class and the second program is your constructor means you are calling the constructor explicitly. You are calling the constructor explicitly. We are explicitly making a call to the constructor and when we call the constructor, the implicit constructor is a called and will initialize the variables. And coming here, here also the same thing only. You notice, you notice this is your class name and this is your constructor name. And if you debug, you will understand much better. Place a breakpoint here by using F9. So, let us place a breakpoint here by using F9 and run the code. Watch. When you added a breakpoint over there, when you added a breakpoint, the control will go and stop on that line when the execution is taking place. Just a second. Ah. The control will come and stop on that particular line when you just over executing the code. Now, the control stopped on the line. Now, press F11. Now, if you press F11, see what is going to happen. So, right now, the control is on this line. Which line? Explicit con demo obj is equals to. If you press F11, you see the control jumping to the constructor. The control jump to the constructor now and after the control jump to the constructor, now it is executing the code inside the constructor and coming back. Next, again, you are calling the, sorry, creating the second instance. Again, goes to constructor call. Again, executes the logic, comes back. Again, third instance, going to constructor, executing the logic and coming out of this. So, like this, 
whenever the instance of any class is created, the call is explicitly made to the constructor. Here a point will be confusing for you a little bit. What is it? Defining second one calling. What is defining? What is calling? Defining a constructor means implementing one constructor in your class. So, this is called defining. This is called defining means we are explicitly writing the code for the appropriate thing that is called defining. Defining can be two types what implicit or explicit. What is that implicit or explicit? Either you define it otherwise compiler will define it. But calling what is calling? Whenever we are writing the instance we are calling the constructor calling is explicit. You only should call implicit calling will not take place defining will be implicit, but a calling must be done explicitly. If you do not call the constructor explicitly that is not going to execute that may be an implicit constructor or that may be an explicit constructor, but calling should be done explicitly by us. If you explicitly call only the constructor which is defined implicitly or which is defined explicitly will execute. So, this is the basic information for us about a constructor. Okay. Uh, in the next video, I will just demonstrate about the various types of constructors that are present in a class and how to work out with them. Thank you for watching the video. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Naresh IT.